Yo, what's going on guys? It's Wolf, and today I'm bringing you guys a new series to my channel. So this is going to be episode number one of Tips and Tricks. So just to kind of briefly explain what this series is going to be, it's going to be a series aimed towards kind of newer slash intermediate designers. And it's basically going to be like a kind of a mini compilation of three tutorials that aren't really worthy of being like a single upload, but are kind of like worth noting and knowing. So yeah, so it's gonna be a series just kind of aimed towards beginner designers, but obviously anyone can learn from it. And so the other cool thing with this series is it's gonna be something I'm gonna be uploading weekly. So every single Saturday night at 11 o'clock, there should be a new one out. So hopefully I can uh, upload these weekly. I have a few planned already. So just stay tuned every single Saturday night at 11 o'clock. But anyways, let's get into the first quote unquote tutorial. All right, so for the first tutorial, we're gonna come over here to our toolbar. And as you can see here, there's this smudge tool. It might be set on a blur or a sharp, and I'm not sure what it's set on, uh, what the preset set is, I guess. But um, so when you click and hold, you get this little tab and you get a blur tool, which just does what it says. Um, and you can just blur stuff. Um, but the cool thing about this, if it loads here, With the blur tool, the cool thing about it um, is you can actually like select a brush and use that as like a like a blur, I guess you could say. Um, you can't really see it because here, hold on. So, but essentially, if we just click a soft brush here, I'll just show you guys. If we zoom in, uh, when you you can just like kind of draw a blur in, and like I said, you can use a like a brush presetter and so you can also change like the mode the strength and so it just kind of gives you some more flexibility with blurring uh, and so kind of the same thing here with the sharpen uh, it's like the same thing um, you can just draw in like a sharpen again you can change like the strength so right now it's on 50 so if we change it to 100 it'll sharpen sharpener I guess uh, you, you know you can change the mode um, and all that so pretty cool little thing there and then same thing with the smudge tool but the smudge tool in my opinion is the best of the three um, and I actually have a whole nother tutorial coming on it out on like a, a thing you can do with it so look out for that I guess uh, but it just basically like does what it says it smudges it and so like I said like I have a really cool um, filter that I figured out how to do with this so be on the watch out for that or the lookout for that so pretty pretty basic stuff there and so it's kind of a cool tool that not a lot of beginner designers know about so yeah all right so moving on to tip number two i actually made a whole video on this but i ended up removing it uh because i i like kind of fucked up in it so if you watch that just pretend like you didn't uh but all you have to do to save for hd and this also this only works for twitter so like if you're uploading a header posting a picture an avi or whatever this is the method you want to do but if you're like uploading a youtube banner it, it's not worth it to do it because it doesn't make any difference so pretty much though all you do is once you finish the header you just want to compress everything into one file do you convert to smart object just double click on it once you've done that you should uh, be redirected into a, like a new tab or whatever and so then all you do is you just want to do command J command U uh, or that's I don't know what that is on PC but on Mac it's just command so yeah then you want to move the lightness all the way down click OK move it to overlay switch the opacity to 01 so just fuck to 01 and then move the bottom layer to 98 and then go file save for web so don't know why the fuck it's 3000 by 1003 it should be 3000 by 1000 so just ignore that um, but then that's pretty much all you do then you just save all right, so moving on to tip number three, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a filter that not, actually I don't even think a lot of like kind of experienced designers know about, uh, but pretty much it's in the blur uh, section and it's a smart blur. Now, for some reason, it's, it's like an oil paint, like topaz hybrid, and I don't know why it's in the blurs, but it is. And so it's like what I just said, it's like an oil paint. Um, as you can see, I just applied it here. And it just like, it compresses everything. I guess it is kind of like a blur. 
Uh, but this is definitely like a really unique filter that not too many people I know of use. So definitely something you could use to make your work stand out and be different and unique. So yeah, so just again, blur, smart blur, and do some cool shit with it. And again, you can also switch like the mode. Uh, I've never, I don't see what like the point for this one is, but you can just mess around with it, um, I guess. And you can do some cool stuff with it, so yeah. Alright, so anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see these videos every single week, leave a like. And as always, if there are any, you know, tutorials, headers, whatever you guys want to know how to do, just leave a comment down below. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Peace.